how are you how are you how are you so i'm back again with the lisa questions and uh, we start with the one guy who uh resigned from his company but the company didn't want to sign his document but then after he got approved the company of course they had decided to terminate him from uh, april that was every this year they terminated him but he did not sign the termination letter so from 25th april until now he has not been working he has been in the room luckily enough his approval just landed uh and his uh not period is until 26 this month so the question he's asking me is uh, should I now accept the termination letter because my HR is telling me because I've not been working I can just go to the new company and start working. Yeah, it's possible you can go to the new company if your HR are already comfortable with it You can go because personally I started working in this company before even my approval uh, came so if you have been approved and you are only on the notes period and your company is willing to let you go, you can go start earning this money because you've been staying at home since 25th April. How will you survive without money? So you can move uh, to the new company and start working with them. And the other thing is if they accept you to join immediately, you can do that. So you move from the accommodation of your current company to them. But the question is, uh, should you uh, sign the termination letter or not? Uh, the first thing, if you had resigned personally, there's no need for you to sign the termination letter because you had resigned. Why should you? Why should they give you a termination letter when you already resigned? So they are the ones who are supposed to accept your resignation letter that you had given them. Okay? So there's nothing you're supposed to do there. So you are not supposed to sign that termination letter because at first it wasn't termination. You are the one who resigned. So yeah, but in case you are not the one who resigned, then you can accept the termination. It doesn't have any harm to you because you have already been approved. So everything is under progress. Let's go to the next one. Oh, before guys, I continue. Just like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Welcome back to my loyal subscribers and comment down below whatever you want me to share on the next video. Stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram at Vic So the next question is... Um, uh huh approved okay most cases have been approved if you go to my comment section of my last four or three previous videos guys i pinned success stories people saying oh vic i got approved two days ago i got approved today i got approved i got approved but then there are some people who got approved but they still want to cancel their approval and go back to their old companies guys i advise you yes you can cancel their approval it's called you canceling the notes period you can cancel the notes period it's possible you only need to uh, take the screenshot of the notes period message your address application EC message and uh, ID and write a letter that you want to cancel the notes period though it takes one day to two days but why should you guys go to companies apply wait for the approval then again cancel it's because you guys are not doing background research about the new companies that you want to join first before you decide to go to any company yes you've been given the offer letter it looks good the salary is good and everything go and do a background check about that company go to their branches uh, inquire from the other employees how they treat them how is their accommodation just have a background check before you even sign the offer letter and do the application online okay to avoid all these stories of cancellation because you apply you get approved you cancel you are also wasting the time of the people who are working in the ministry of labor they are approving you the next time you want them to cancel for you you are the person who is wasting the number of applications that are pending you know okay let me go to the next one is asking what time does Alcor branch open? At least Alcor branch, like any other at least a branch, they open between 8 a.m. They start from 7 that, but it's a requirement that you go there at 8 a.m. to mostly 12 p.m., 12 noon, okay? And that's the same time that the Adlisa online link is working, is operational. Otherwise, if you log in to the Adlisa at the at the late times or very early it will tell you just come to the link during operating hours uh, okay uh, there's another person here saying my QID is expired and I'm on 
grace period. So if I want to exit, will I pay a penalty? Guys, I always repeated this question because most people who, are, who have been, you know, like you have tried to apply for a change of employer, it's delaying and uh, your QID already expired, you have an out period, you are scared maybe after the grace period, uh, you will have to start paying penalties, which is 10 real per extended day in Qatar. You want to exit now. You can exit. There is no penalty during the grace period. That's why it's called grace. It's like mercy. It's free. Grace period. Like they empathize with you to stay within those three months, then you can finally uh, exit without paying anything. But after that, if you ex exit your grace period, then you'll be, you'll be penalized. Uh huh. Cancel approval. People want to cancel approvals. People want to cancel applications. All the best. But again, remember, the more you apply and you get approved and you cancel, you are, the more you are limiting your three chances for changing of sponsorship in Qatar. You only have three. If you want to change the fourth one, the third, uh, which is your last guest, must really. Uh, give you permission. Otherwise, the g government gave us three opportunities to change our employer without the NOC. Okay, so that's it for today. And I just got my on the left hand my final vaccination, which is the Moderna. The first one was uh, Visa. Now I got my last one vaccination, and I'm not feeling anything bad. I'm just okay, and I hope it will be like that. No reactions in my body. And I tell you guys, Corona is real, COVID is real, get vaccinations, it's free in Qatar, so be vaccinated, be vaccinated. And guys wanting to travel to Qatar, be vaccinated for you to avoid the expenses of uh, quarantine, it's expensive to quarantine. So, be vaccinated, stay safe, social distance, wear your mask, always sanitize. See you on the next one. Is your boy, Vic Season.